I'm in Barcelona at the Mobile World Congress. I'm on the Ericsson stand. I'm speaking here with Patrick from Ericsson and Nick from Netronome. So, Patrick, can you tell us a little bit about the relationship between Ericsson and Netronome? Sure. Uh, what we are showing here is how we can uh, work it together between Netronome and Ericsson using our cloud SDN solution. We are leveraging on the open source on both sides using OVS and using Open Daylight uh, for the controller side, which has enabled you, us to um, uh, deliver those solutions and deliver the high performance uh, uh, throughput for the telecom and FV application. So that's really what we are doing and demonstrating here live in uh, Barcelona. Okay. And so, uh, Nick, from the Netronome perspective, is this a new relationship you have with Ericsson or is this something that you've been working on for quite some time? Uh, we've been working on this for a bit of time, uh, but it is also a new relationship, uh, and we're excited about it. Uh, we've got our Gilio server networking products, which is based on our Gilio CX intelligent server adapters, which is uh, shown right here. Uh, and uh, running on top Let's of touch it. There we yeah. go. I touched it. Now, you can't do that with software, I think, <laughs> as you pointed out before. We have it running yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> So this is what we're excited about running in this particular demo, integrated with the Ericsson Cloud SDN environment. And what we do with this adapter is we actually offload functions such as server-based networking with these switches that would be running on the server, consuming a lot of CPU resources. We run those on the chip that's on this card, and we offload the server from having to do that. And as a result, you get more resources back to run applications such as IT cloud applications and NFV applications. And basically that translates directly into reduced total cost of ownership for the server data center. Okay. So from Ericsson's, Ericsson's perspective, this sounds like a greater efficiency in the data center, freeing up more resources. Exactly. Is that something that the operators are sa saying to you that they need most of all? Performance is a key uh, telecommunication uh, operator requirement, and that's really what we are delivering with uh, this solution. It overall fits with the uh, hyperscale uh, focus that we are doing here in the, in the cloud, and that's what we are delivering uh, here. With the Agilio uh, um, uh, adapter, we deliver up to a 20 times performance improvement. And as Nick mentioned, uh, the overall TCO that we have been working uh, together demonstrate that we can uh, reduce by a factor of 60% the overall uh, uh, server TCO here. So that's really uh, bringing hyperscale to the telecom operator. Okay, 20 times greater performance than? Than using just uh, software here. So by all offloading the, uh, the this switch uh, feature to the hardware, that's what we get uh, here. Okay. And uh, we are freeing up resources, just focusing on the application. Okay. So Ericsson really threw itself into the uh, cloud uh, and data center market last year with the launch of the HDS 8000. Does that platform figure in the relationship between Ericsson and Netronome? So we are working overall on the, on the, with a set of partners to improve the, the uh, hyperscale uh, characteristic of the HDS platform, and um, that's what we are doing at the moment uh, here. Okay. And from Netronome's perspective, um, are you a company that forges relationship with large network equipment providers like Ericsson to, to get to market? Absolutely. Uh, you know, in this kind of uh, emerging space of uh, server-based networking offload, which is what we specialize in, it's all about building partnerships and uh, getting an ecosystem going, both from an open uh, source perspective for our software uh, partnerships and also working with large OEMs, uh, telecom operators as well, uh, to make sure that we have the right uh, solution that's optimized to improve data center networking uh, costs uh, and improve performance. Okay. And what we are introducing here is basically server-based networking, which is a kind of new concept uh, as well, which is enabled using uh, SDN technology. So bringing all the networking function directly in the server to make life of the uh, operator and service provider easier. Okay, and this sounds like something that would be applicable not only to communication service providers, but to large enterprises as well? Large IT uh, cloud provider, definitely, yes. Okay, excellent. Guys, thanks very much for speaking with us today. Thank, Thank you, Ray.